straight out to investigative journalist Rita Cosby, who is live uh, on the New York City borough of Staten Island. Rita, uh, many folks on Staten Island live right along the bay. We all know, I lived 18 years on the beach, the ocean breeze makes it very cold, much more cold than inland, and a lot windier. So how are Sandy victims dealing with this most recent onslaught that's happening as we speak? Well, Jane, you can probably see uh, the snow is just coming down. The winds are whipping up. It's really bitter outside. This is a snowball I just created about two seconds ago. Uh, it is sticking here, and it is freezing. And to answer your question, residents here in Staten Island, Jane, are just so fed up. They are desperate. Uh, on this block, we only ran into one family that's inside, and they're staying there because they're worried about looting. Everyone else has evacuated. Most of the homes here have been leveled in this area, and authorities are very worried about flying debris which could come up and of course cause incredible amount of damage and right now the people in this area as you talked about thousands here without power no food no heat most of them they are very cold and this night is going to be very bitter i can tell you it's very cold outside i'm very worried for the residents that are here uh, the few that have stayed uh, are trying to brave it out and the rest of them are also in shelters because people said try to get inland because we're just a couple hundred yards away from the atlantic ocean back here and this is just to give you some perspective jane that is where that huge wall of water came into staten island it was basically in this area when it came in. I'm five foot four. It was way above my head. It was about seven, eight feet tall. So this area has already been hit tremendously hard. And tonight residents are desperate. They're worried. They're very concerned. Rita, and uh, I think it's going to be Rita, a very rough you, night here, Jane. Yeah, I want to ask you a question. Remember, uh, two little boys, ages two and four, died tragically during that storm surge during Sandy. So we know, uh, as you mentioned, it really went over people's heads. They were ripped out of their mother's arms. Uh, but let me ask you about them saying there's nothing there, because the mayor of New York held a very long news conference where he was talking about, oh, a million and a half meals distributed, thousands of blankets, water, all sorts of uh, thousands of uh, space heaters. But yet they're saying that they're not seeing any of this. Yeah, a lot of the people here said they have barely gotten any help, if at all. And the bad news is, because of the weather today, Jane, they set up a Red Cross distribution point. It was maybe about a quarter of a mile from here, just down the road, down this way. And what they were giving there was batteries, food, water, blankets uh, for the few people who had stayed whose homes weren't leveled. And guess what? With this bad weather tonight, those places are closed down.